And now, live from Manchester. Hello to you all from the north. Right, uh, welcome to another programme. Tonight we've got uh, Andrew Collins, Justine from uh, Elastica, reading Martin Amis, uh, Frank Sidebottom's Story of Pop, and uh, I don't know, that's all top quality items, obviously, but it just needs a bit of extra something, that programme. I'm totally bereft of ideas, but um, I think there's a new BBC department that can uh, help me out a bit later on. Fresh from 95 all during the day. I'm be a bit tired now. But, uh... Hello, Bright New Features for 95 Department. Can I help you? Uh, yeah, hello, it's Mark Radcliffe here. Yes, hello. Uh, ten till midnight. Oh, hello. Right, yeah, I need some uh, new features because I've been listening all day. Like um, uh, Lisa Ryanson and uh, Nicky Brambles and Mark Goodyear mm. have uh, got loads. Yeah. And uh, so I was wondering if you could help me out. Well, uh, no, I can't actually, I could. No. Um, I'm not. Yeah, what? That, what are you doing there? Yeah, I am Mark. Oh, yeah. I'm Mark Radcliffe, that's right. Um, how are you? Fine, yeah. Um, Fine, I wonder where you were. You weren't in last night. No, I've been in London in again, our kid. Oh, nice one. I've been out with goodie bags. Have you? Yeah, and uh, Bruno. Yeah, all right. Yeah, and Funky Side. I love them. Great time. Right, yeah. So, yeah. but listen, I mean, what about all these features? Because they've all got brilliant new features throughout the day. Well, it's this new department. It's working a treat, our kid. Is it you? Yeah. Is it? Well, you know, so, uh, I mean, I believe, like, Mark Goodyear, he's got some great driving ones, hasn't he? Because he's on at drive time. Yeah, well, uh, I put one uh, together, Auto Trader. It's, it's a killer. Yeah. It's about like what goes on the car park. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's that, a good one. Yeah, so um, so that's really good. That's working well, like, yeah. What else? Have you got anything like that for me? What, like Auto Trader? Yeah, because that's good, that. People are driving and listening to this, you know. Well, uh, you've got a couple left. Let's have a look. Um, yeah, hang on. I've got, um, this is like all car stuff. Is that what you after? Yeah. Uh, are you exhausted? Well, that sounds good. What's that? Mm. Well, it's like, you know, an exhaust of a car. And you just ring people up and ask them if they're exhausted. Right. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. It's not bad. Um, then give us an indication. Yeah. Which is like you ring people up and you ask them, give you an indication or something. Right. Yeah. And then I, I, this is a, the best one, actually. I'm all right, Jack, which is like a jack, you know, that you jack the car up with. I get it. And you ring people up and just ask them if they're they're all right. And now they have, do they have to be called Jack, like Jack Duckworth or Tony Jacklin? No, we're not fussy, really. Play, and then you play some new Jack Swing? Uh, yeah, well, if you like, yeah. Right, OK. Well, I'll tell you what, I mean, uh, there's some other good stuff going on, like um, Lisa or Lisa, Lisa, Lisa or Hi uh, Lisa came in this afternoon. Yeah. And I did one for her, uh, what are you having for your lunch then? And that's working well. I took me a, only took me about half an hour. Because she's on at lunchtime, isn't she? Yeah. I mean, it would have taken you long. You're out on your lunch, weren't you? So it took... Well, that's right. And I, I mean, I, I actually I knocked off three fish. She only wanted one. Right, well... two left over there. It's like, there's one here. And what have you got in your hands at the moment? That sounds good. It's not bad. And uh, what are you doing now, then? Right. Is, well, that's a bit more complex. But what you have to do is ring people up and ask them what they're doing then, then. Right, well, do you fancy nipping in here and we can have a chat about it? Yeah, all right. I'm going to set one. Hiya. Great, so you can bail us out with some features, can you? Yeah, no problem. Right, nice one. Well, um, I'll play a couple of tunes now, and uh, we'll have a chat about it later. Sorted. Brilliant. Fresh new features for night... Is that what it's called? Fresh new bright feet... Forgotten. Right, OK. Still with us, and uh, the boy Lard... Hiya, is, Mark! ...is back, and uh, you've been manning the phone lines, amongst other things. Yeah, well, actually, I mean, they're, they're going to start buzzing again, the phone lines, because we've got this great new feature that um, Andrew and I have been working on. Great. But just to let you know, first of all, um, you've been uh, been told off, our kid, basically. Right. Not to put too fine a point on it. Um, a lady rang in and said, oh, you know about like, Eric Clapton stuff we were talking about before, about he gets all the money and all that gubbins. He didn't turn up for side bottom, did he? He didn't turn up for side bottom, but anyway. Um, she rang in to say that um, she thought it was very uh, silly to say that. And basically... Strong words, It was, a, words, it was mate. a bit strong. Strong words. <laughs> it was a bit strong. I was shocked. Yeah. Uh, but he said it was a bit silly. And uh, basically, because Eric Clapton pays for all the little bands, apparently... Or something. That's true. And, I mean, actually, you shouldn't forget that, because um, no. you see this uh, new shirt? Yeah. Eric Clapton paid for this. Yeah, well, there you go, you see. And, uh, so, you and that was a Mrs. Clapton from the castle in Buckinghamshire. Right. <laughs> <laughs> OK, perfect. Right. So, um, anyway. anyway, listen, enough of that, enough of that, enough new of feature. that. feature. Now, listen, it's all fresh for 95, and Lisa yeah. Ianson and Mark Goody, they've got, honestly... It, the shows are just chock full of great musical ideas, features. They are. All day. And mine are bobbins, aren't they? Because you've not done any work on the show for over a year. You've just been coasting. Coasting. Hmm. And, uh, well, guilty as charger on it. I mean, but I have, for the last sort of half an hour with Andrew, been working. 
and we've come up with um, loads of features that sort of fit into this show. Well, because like you know, see, like Lisa Ironson's doing like lunchtime things, isn't she? And Mark Mark Goody is like doing drive, drive time. You know, and so it's I need... all related. All that stuff is related and clever and smart, and we've had nothing but rubbish. Right, that's have we? true. I mean, any old bollocks is like the phrase that we use, really. And but tonight's Strong all changed. Words, mate. Strong words, mate. But it's all um, it's all changed. And Good. We've got a load of sort of stuff which relates to this show. It's very clever, isn't it, Andrew? It's, I've, I think I've brought a kind of daytime mentality to, to the party here. That's what it needs, you see. Yeah, exactly. That is what it needs. We were in a ghetto, but now we're out of it, and it's a good thing. Is and it, We what? weren't fresh for 95. We were, like, still stale from the end of 93, really, yeah. weren't we? We got away with it for a year, but yeah. no longer. Right. Right, come on, then. So, so the finest minds in pop radio. Basically, the first one that I thought that we could do is uh, 200 2207, and it's midnight at the Oasis and what people do is they ring in and they, and they got a guess which member of Oasis I am hang on oh go on give there me. you go what, so you're looking grumpy with a baggy sweater on so yeah. that, well that could be any of them could yeah it? well that's it you see I mean it's like exciting that one isn't it that's sort of like you know I was going to get them going that 200 double 207 did Eric Clapton buy you that jumper he did actually it's like Armani right. um, out of the kindness of his heart yeah, yeah he did that he's a fantastic guy I, think, guy. I think this one might work a lot better uh, Midnight Cowboy, where oh. we where we get um, disreputable um, central heating engineers to phone up and give me an estimate and uh, get my boiler fixed um, in the flat that I rent out that is apparently now illegal under the new regulations that have been brought in since the 1st of January. Brilliant. Um, 200. So if they phone in, with, they phone in with estimates... And and we just pick the one that's uh, the smallest. Well, it's actually it's going off to a great start because like someone's already phoned in and said Liam Gallagher. We being Liam. Well, I was. <laughs> <laughs> you see, that's it. And what did you send them for that? Did they win like uh, some of that Oasis because you used to make flower arrangements in? No, I'm going to ring Eric Clapton and get him to send them something. <laughs> you can yeah. send, send him some promotional wrap around eyebrows. No, I'll get him to send them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, uh, you can send him his hat. Eric Clapton's hat. You won there. Oh, that's six, good. 061 200 2207. All prizes donated by uh, Clapto. Yeah. Uh, I've got one here now, which... Hang on, I'm going to take me... Oh, now. So, oh dear. Right, now then. Park me bike. Now, you've got to guess. This is called Midnight Oil. <laughs> really? You've got to guess... <laughs> what kind of oil he's rubbing in my crease at the moment. So right, there you go, that's a good one. You, you told me not to come up with me fancy London ways, didn't you? Yeah, <laughs> well, sorted, you Sorry. see. Quality item. That's a blinder. I'm glad you're forming this bond, uh, Andrew. But if you try, could try a midnight espresso where you have to guess how many cups of coffee we've drank by how fast we soak him. Right. To the nearest two. Brilliant. See? So, oh, God, it's so fantastic, sorted. isn't it? 200 0207 061 double. Two oh something. Two hundred two two oh seven. If you want to win some of Eric Clapton's money by saying how many cups of tea it takes a central heating engineer to make a bad job of engineering uh, around at one of Oasis houses and uh, what while is somebody is rubbing oil in their arse no, cheeks in the crack. Yeah, excellent. Right, so things are looking up. You know, I, I just bet uh, the breakfast show. I bet they've nicked all these tomorrow. You're just listening. In the I morning. bet they have. I'll I tell bet. you.